All right, kids. The next part of this uh, video series on this god dang truck. All right, we're just going into the uh, the impromptu uh, shop here and uh, shop garage. And as we can see, it is a mess of wiring. Um, I'm sure that there are people who are smarter than me. Now, who can do this quickly and fast and efficiently. Um, me, I'm doing it the hard way. Uh, surprisingly interesting little thing that ended up sort of being needed. It's called the VAPS. Um, but this is, is a power steering assist. Um, variable assisted power steering, I think it is something like that. I, I, I forget exactly what it stands for, but either way. And you have to sit there and label all the wires that are going underneath the dash for everything that's going underneath the dash. And um, I'm even keeping the, uh, the data link connector so I can plug... I got a Bluetooth thing. I can just plug it in and re, you know, watch what's happening in on, as far as check engine lights on the car. So I'm slowly going through this and eliminating things that are unnecessary. A great deal of this is unnecessary. I don't need any radio, speaker, wire, lighting, any lighting system at all. I'm going to reuse the, I'm going to recreate the harness from the truck on the truck and try and keep that is intact as possible. Um, some things that will be kept, most of this wiring harness right here will be kept as it is. Um, you know, so mass airflow sensor and all the other stuff, it's all there. Um, I don't know yet if I need either these plugs. I think this is for the heater blower, I forget exactly. And these two, I gotta sit there and figure out, open them up and take a look and see what they're for. I'd like to hope to not have to use any of them because I'm tired of drilling through fucking firewalls and dealing with all that crap. And a little few, couple fuse boxes and then the big fuse box. I'd like to just use the big fuse box. Um, as we can see, this uh, diagram was... It gives you all your colors and your pinout. However, it doesn't give you what the pinout of the damn thing is because it just doesn't do it. Every other connector on the entire thing it tells you voltage supplied at all times. Hot with da, da 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 da. All the connectors are done except for that big ugly motherfucker right here, which is one of the most important ones you could possibly need. Why didn't they do that? I don't know. Um, I'm also using Mitchell on demand, which isn't up right now, but because uh, the you know computer shut off, and that's the wiring there. And that's where I'm currently at. Um, as from the last video, there's the gas tank that's still going nowhere. Um, our uh, fabrication, um, sheet metal bending, twisting, pulling, turning, whatever. And uh, so we got that. And the motorbike is still uh, getting, or that one's getting the carburetor rebuild. And well, actually, it just needs gaskets. So that's whatever. Um, that's not the project at hand, this is. So, as far as fitment, this fucking engine fits in here so fucking easy as a joke. If you can't do this, you're a fucking idiot. Um, oh, I was looking at the Mustang forums and some other stuff because, well, I don't have the rest of my AC system. All I have is a compressor. It's a good compressor. I don't need it, don't want it. Just going to probably put it on eBay and see if I can't sell it for 50 bucks or something. Help defray the cost of some of this. Um, so that's not there. However, without that, you need a belt. Here's the belt the routing. I used a 70 inch belt approximately. Um, some people were saying 70.5 or 70 and a half, you know, 70 inch, 70 and one half inches or something like that. And they were talking about you switch this pulley out for the groove pulley. Well, I did it. I bought this one. This one is like a little under 70 inches or something like that. I think it is, but um, it was a tight fit. It fit, but it fit okay. It went on just like a, a Ford belt should, because I know some of the Fords are like a bitch to get on. Um, as mentioned, you need to remove your tensioner anytime you want to change your belt. So if your belt breaks, it's behind the tensioner. There is no option there. Not a big deal. You also remove this pulley. I tried swapping the pulleys. Of course, it binds up. So you try and washer out the pulley, then the belt doesn't ride on the pulley correctly, so then you got to washer it this the other way. It was just like, 
you got to washer this out, um, your your tensioner out, but there's very little thread and uh, the little. It was more fucking hassle. I put a fucking. I just left the smooth belt on there, and guess what? It works just fucking fine. So ignore people when they say change out the thing. If it mushes out my uh, my little uh, grooves on this, well then whatever. I'll buy another damn belt sometime. Um, anyhow's. That's uh, the gist of this. So 70 and a half inches will do it. A little, I bought a little bit shorter because they didn't have the exact length. And, well, looky there. Fits perfect. Um, and here's your routing. Starting at the top of the crank. Around. Power steering pump. Whoops, sorry. Here you go. Power steering pump. Alt. Oiler. Around the water pump. And good to go. So there's that. Um, if anybody needs, uh, you know, anything else, I really don't know. This is the problem with the returnless fucking fuel system, I think. I think it's this one right here is your pressure sensor, how much pressure you have in there. Oh, boy. That's why you got to have a returnless. And you can do a return style. You can convert this over, I guess. Um, just buy a fitting, change it all out. Put a T in there or something like that. Put a fuel pressure regulator in there. Something. I don't fucking know. I didn't really look it up too hard. Because I really don't care because I'm not doing that. But I do know it can be done for anybody who's looking to go to a returnless style fuel system. Um, I am no master of the 4.6 engine. This is my first experience uh, ever working on one. Dealing with, well I've worked on them a couple of times. But I never really, you know. Just not my thing. So, hope... This might self or settle some for somebody. And in previous videos, we covered how all the fabrication of this was all made. The old soft bolts have now been replaced with uh, hardened uh, grade 8 bolts. Because, you know, just the smart thing to do. Um, turns out that the uh, degreaser also removed the, uh, the high temp paint that I poured on here from that's meant for uh, barbecue grills. I bought a bunch of barbecue grill uh, paint and <laughs> I don't care. Um, as I tell people and remind my wife and uh, everybody, this is not a show truck. This truck will pull a stump and I don't give a fuck. It ain't no pretty thing. It's just an old pickup truck. So there you go. Hope somebody learned something and hope I can help somebody. And peace out, bitches.